Starting with AutoCAD 2012, arrays have become associative. We can see that here in this tooltip that indicates that this is a single polar array, not a collection of seven different objects that happen to be arrayed around a random point. This means that editing this array now becomes much easier. Let's explore a couple of different ways to do this. So first, we could do a single click edit operation, which would enable all the ribbon tab elements quite a lot of options here that we can use. For now, let's just focus on the basic things like the number of items, degrees to fill, those types of parameters. That would be very easy to modify using the ribbon interface using this sort of methodology. And we see as this happens, the preview here in screen updates. So that's a straightforward way to edit. And we can go ahead and close out the array operation and that will be changed. Now, the other way that we could have done this would have been to double click edit, which would go ahead and bring us up a property sheet. So this would give you the basic parameters. You're not getting all the uh, bevy of options that are available through the ribbon interface. But if you just want to do a primary basic edit on the array, you could use this methodology as well. So it'd be very easy to just go ahead and, and make the change here, say to six objects, dismiss the properties box, and then one more dismissal to go ahead and get out of the selection and we can see that the array has been updated. So basic updating of the preformed array is very easy to do and the magic that makes that happen is the associative nature of the arrays.